Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM today. I'm going to show you how to make a cute little purse from an old pair of worn out jeans. Now, do you guys recognize this at all? Any of this? Because I did this on the show on my jeans, and I love that pair of jeans and the pieces that were not already on the fabric. I cut off of another piece and stuck on there with glue. But guess what? I like those jeans so much that I wore them out. Oh. I wore a hole in the derriere. I'm a, yes, so I cut these up. Now, here's the deal. Well, I'm going to show you how to make this little purse. The inside of it, you've got a lining there just out of a shirt I bought because I thought I might use it for something like this. Everything else on here is from the pair of jeans that I cut up. The, the trim, uh, the, pa the pants were pretty fancy. Now, this, do you know what this is that looks like a tongue? You know where that is? That's that little pocket right there that oh, you don't yeah. ever know what to do with. Oh, I always thought it was a chapstick pocket. Well, <laughs> I heard girls call it lipstick pocket. Okay, see, I've yeah. never used that. Um, so I put that on there just to close it up with and a little button with a little little uh, rhinestone in the center. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the legs off. Now, depending on how big you want the purse to be, um, just cut the legs two in proportion there at the same size one I have already cut but I'm going to show you you're going to want to cut the seam out okay now this is really just two pieces of denim that that you're going to do you're going to cut the seam out and you could use that you could use that on something else if you'll notice the purse that I just showed you the handle is out of a seam Oh, uh, yeah, okay. so everything on there is out of something on the jeans. All right, so you want to cut that out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at the inside, and you see this seam down the center. You want it to be in the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut it so that it is in the center. If you want to measure, you are welcome to do that. I prefer not to, so I'm just <laughs> going to go ahead and roll with it, fly by the seat. Fly by the seam? Fly by the seam. That's good, Kaylee. All right, so this portion is going to be uh, the bottom portion. Let me show you this again, because this is all one piece. I'm going to turn it over. This is all one piece. This back piece that turns into the fold, OK? That's what this is from the other pair of jeans. So I cut it like this, only I decided to round the top. And let me just show you how I did that. You just take it. Jeremy, I'm going to have you hold this. Oh, OK, yeah. Tell me what you do. OK, just hold it, where? hold it up like this. Hold it, OK. So, so the one portion I just did like this, and then I kind of gave it a round note okay. like that, and that's the flap, all right, which brings me... Oh, you got the figure. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> that scared me so bad. So oh, my I word. I couldn't resist guessing. Oh, that was believable. He's like, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. <laughs> you saw that coming? <laughs> okay, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy's, Jeremy's too honorary to not take up that I, opportunity. That is I know. so true. All right, so let me show you. I'll get you back. All right, so this will. is the back piece. This is going to go like this. Your flap is here. So basically what you're going to do with this second portion is you're going to make the part that's the front. Is this making sense, guys? <laughs> kind of, yes. Until now. All right. But I think once I see so what you're doing. So you need two okay. rounded corners or just one? I did that only to show you oh, how to okay, make the Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, corner. gotcha. I thought you needed two no. rounded. You don't no. need two rounded. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this about the size that you're going to need. I got gotcha, you. No. And, and it will make more sense here. And, and do cut off the, the end because it's harder to sew through. Cut off the, the seam at the bottom. So wait, is this? Oh, you actually required? have to sew. You don't. Uh, some people glue it together. I've seen it done with hot glue, but since I sew, I prefer to have it done the other way. Okay. Now this is going to make sense. What I just did was this one piece, and then I lined it. Okay. And Ooh, there's the flap. Cool. The other piece that I cut was just a, like kind of a square. Okay. Yeah. And then and then I lined it. Now you can line it several different ways, but I prefer to put the lining on each individual piece. Okay. And then you put them together. And then you sew it. It's just super easy. You sew it, sew it. Can I ask a question about sewing then? Mm -hmm. Is because I'm looking at this, I don't sew, you know me. Oh. I'm looking at, is it harder to sew that thickness of material? Do you have to use a special needle or something? Uh, or? You, your needle probably needs to be about a 12 or a 15, uh, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit stronger. I got um, you. Yeah, because I was thinking that would mm -hmm. probably have a lot of more yeah, force. Yeah, it know? does. So you would need a bigger needle for that. So here's your flap. Now, lots of ways to close this up. You saw how I did this one. Um, what you could do is look at this. This is the waistband. This is the waistband from the jeans, okay? Mm -hmm. You've already got a buttonhole. So uh, why not just use that? You could go all the, all way, the way around way. to the bottom and sew that on, put a little button there, and you're ready to go. Oh, here, let me see. Okay, I'll just <laughs> hold it up there. So um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You've got all these seams left if you want to do like I did and put them on the edges. 
And then do you just glue that? You, you know what? If you want to, you can glue whatever portion you want on there. I, or you could sew it. Like, or you, you could say sew, sew it. or glue. To okay. me, um, sewing it makes it a little bit more permanent. Stronger. So could you use E6000? You could. Um, you could do the tube glue. Tube glue, uh, yeah. Because that way... E6000 would make it more permanent-ish. And, and I know. saw some people doing that with, with the hot glue. Um, you know, they would take the piece and they would just take the piece and they would just glue it together. Oh. And you can do that. So that's so easy. I hope that this made sense for what you guys are doing. I, I think when you sew, it's, it's um, easier to yes, understand. Yes, you Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have expertise yeah. in that. I was thinking about yeah. a choker. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And that's my pin of the week. <laughs> take your old jeans and see what you can do with them. And we'll be back. I even like that as like a oh, makeup true. bag. I think it's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. So oh, you need a it. button. I'm very fancy, like an S. R. Yes. <laughs>